there guys and gals welcome back to the start of season three with the hungry lions we are finally here we are in the south african premier league let's hope we can kick off with a a, a bit of a, a result here today we're against super sport they're probably one of the best teams in the league um so you know i'm not expecting much here today but you know if we can get maybe a sneaky result we'll we'll take it uh, before we get into anything though, we've got a lot of transfers to go through, okay? So we'll just hop straight in and we'll just start kind of going through what's after been happening. Um, we will... Yeah, so right here. So a lot of our players have not re-signed with us, okay? Um, we only have a handful. I'll show you the the, uh, the guys that have re-signed with us in a minute, but here's our, here's our transfers, right? Sardino, Sardina, even, the goalkeeper from Kaiser that we loaned in, we signed him on a permanent. Um, he's a superb goalkeeper. So happy with him. Uh, really, really happy to sign him. So you guys, I, I'm just going to kind of quick glance at their stats so you guys can have a quick look here. You can pause it if you want to look at a certain player more. But he's so good for us um, last season and I think he's going to do a good job for us. He's only 22 as well, which is a really big deal. Uh, we also loaned back in um, Oliver. We had him for about three quarters of the season and then he got recalled by his parent club we've loaned him again we're not going to rely on him as heavily this time but he was a good defender last year and you know i'm, I'm expecting him to to do a good job for us again this season um up next this is which one is this guy oh yeah this is our new right back so we have um we have zondi that can play a right back right but we only then have Bente, and i'm kind of wanting to play zondi more centrally this year because last season that's where he played a lot and he like I don't think we would have gotten promoted if Zondi was not playing in the center for us last season um, as much as he did. So I brought this guy in, 20 years old. He's going to roll tape with Bent Day, I'd say. And we'll only put Zondi out there if we really have to. But yeah, this is a, a right back that we, we brought in. Um, this is the biggest signing uh, money-wise that we've done. Phenomenal looking left back. Um, he is an attacking mid. I don't care if they're like where they play right now. I, if they are good enough to play on the wing backs and they play, you know, attacking uh, like wingers or whatever, I'm just going to sign them and retrain them into wing backs. Um, I think this guy is going to be phenomenal for us on the left. Um, 35k costs us a good chunk of our budget, but uh, yeah, it's kind of funny to say 35k is a lot of our budget, right? <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Uh, but look at the stats. I think he's going to be phenomenal for us. All right, moving on. Uh, we got this guy as well on a free. This is a central defender. We really needed players with good jumping reach, heading, and he kind of just fills the roles, right? He, he He's good at what I need him to be and just be a central defender, right? Uh, we, we only had, I think it was in Keeley and Mogo are the only defenders that we had left. So we had to go out and sign a couple of center backs now and we, we'll go through them. Um, I'm still looking at Loney's, by the way. Um, this is also another left back. So this is the rotational to go with the... This guy's name is so long. I'm going to have to come up with something. Keenan. We'll just call him Keenan, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Tyler Cicero, he is loaned in. Phenomenal stats as well. His mentals are nutty. Absolutely nutty for our league, right? They're so good. Um, I'm expecting him to do very well for us this season in rotation with, uh, with Keenan. Um, our other three is Kevin. He's a defender as well. Uh, not as good jump and reach. He is not going to be a starter. By the looks of it, he's more there just in case people get injured, a bit of, a bit of tiredness. He's going to come in and, uh, you know, do what he has to do. Hopefully, he can do a job for us. Um, and then this is the last signing that we made before the window, um, before the season kind of ended. That's why we're in season 24, 25 still there. Um, Centre midfielder. I like just getting in people that have good work rate, decent technique, decent passing. So he, he, he's going to do a job for us, right? He's, he's able to play in the deep line player. He can go box to box because of their work rate, um, and the uh, he's not the best stamina, but it, it's 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 acceptable, and he has natural fitness of of uh, twelve, so he he's he can do a job just anywhere around the midfield for us, I think. Okay, so once the season kind of passed over, here are the last couple of guys. Now this guy is magnificent player, but big issue right now is he got injured and he's out for five months. He is our most uh play uh most paid player at the moment on one point five, which is a big upgrade from our eight and nine hundreds from last season. It's nearly double, right? But his stats are phenomenal and I was so gut wrenched when he got injured in a friendly. So he's out for the first half of the season. 
I'm probably going to have to bring in another midfielder on top of the ones I've got just to kind of cover what he was going to be doing for me, right? Um, Ndaba is a goalkeeper. No, he's a striker. Sorry. Ndaba is the striker. Look at the stats. Looks very, very good. The only thing I'm not happy with is the acceleration. Um, but other than that, he seems very good at just being a striker, right? And that's just what we need. We need someone that's going to be there and just be a striker for us. Um, he, we needed Daniels our last season, right? Because Daniels carried us last season. I did try to sign Daniels, but I, I, we just couldn't afford him money, like uh, transfer transfer wage, uh, transfer budget wise, I should say. Um, his wages now we could have covered, um, even if it was a bit high, but yeah, they wanted too much money for him. But got this guy on free, you can't complain about that. Uh, 14 composure, 14 finishing. For this league, I think that's that's really high. Um, last two guys, uh, Sithole is our goalkeeper. I brought this guy in as a backup for um Sardina. Uh, we have our 15-year-old keeper then as well, just to bring in if we if we have to, but we, I doubt we will. We have these two guys now, and they're going to do a good job. Um, and then the last guy we brought in so far is on loan, and it is Endevu. 18 years old, decent stats across the board for that attacking uh, midfield role behind Zondi, basically, is what's going to happen there. So that is that. So only a couple of players have re-signed with us um, from last season. Like I said... Mogo in defence, still heart of defence. Bente on the right. Sele signed with us again. Uh, Delamina, he's just a youngster. Um, so we have Enkili. I do kind of have to go through because I am really bad with names. Um, Zondi, of course, is staying. Weaver is staying, who's still injured. Pizzo and Bain are still here, but they actually have not signed a new contract. They're they're just going to be gone. Um, in the next world, I'm just going to fully release them. I'm kind of hoping to let the season start like two or three games, and if they're still here, I'll offer them new contracts. And um, at the moment, they want too much money. They want like 1.2, 1.3, and honestly, I have better players or players that are par on par with them on a lot less money. So unless they drop their wage, I'm not going to be resigning them, and they're just going to go. Uh, Wayne was resigned as well, um, and I think that's it. Yeah, so that's why, as you can see, the it's near enough a whole new squad so especially the first like 10 games the first 10 games of the season are going to be very rough i think because there's no team cohesion at all right like there's a lot of players after leaving um but yeah i think that's it we've covered all of the transfers and all of that stuff a bit of a longer intro e and start of the season but i wanted to show you guys all the transfers and all that stuff we did finances wise as usual, we're in the red. That should kind of balance itself out this season. I'm hoping. Um, we are we're only five k more per week, um, than what we were in the division below. So I really think that uh, yeah, that should work out. Also, they have decided to build a new stadium because our stadium is not good enough. Now, we, there's no cost or anything after been approved yet, but yeah, that's going to hurt a lot money wise. I think um, unless we get a lot of investors in to help. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to stop rambling on. We are going to go hop straight into our game here today against uh, Supersport and uh, probably lose. But alas, here we go. Alrighty, guys, here we go. I also forgot to mention, guys, um, Indada, our new striker. Uh, he's actually injured for two weeks as well. So he misses the first game of the season. Something I noticed as well, um, he's not playing here today, but Dondolo from our first season, if you guys remember, our star player, he now plays for Supersport. I only realized that today. I actually went to look for him um, in the in the search bar, bar just to check um, where he was. And apparently he's at the doll, uh, he's at Super uh, Supersport. So let's turn on the sound here anyway, and we'll get into this game. I'm really hoping we get a result here, but you know, if we lose, if we lose, we lose. Um, oof, a bit of pace there. Oof, and we're already one nil down. One minute in. One minute in, we are one goal down. Like I said, guys, we're going to try this formation for the first couple of games. We're going to try the way we're playing. We're tr going to try not to change a whole lot. But if we have to, if we have to, we will have to change formation. Um, and I was thinking about this in the preseason. This is why we have a couple of extra midfielders um, than we would normally have had, right? Um, and I also am still looking at a couple of loan options that... Uh, that are up on the list at the moment. They are tearing us apart, team. Tearing us apart. Oof, he's hit the post. 
he's hit the post. And it's out for another corner. Holy. They are all over us. Come on, get up. There it is. Good stuff, Sally. Free kick again. These guys are a different level. These guys are on a different level to us, guys. I don't know what we're going to do here. Do we pull back the cautious here? I know we're two down. And it's probably too late to do this, but... I think we have to try and just stop stop the... Uh, oh my god, the gates just are open and it, it just keeps happening. <laughs> Sardina, good catch there, good catch. Come on now, get it, get it under control, team. Get it under control. We're okay, we're playing okay. And Keeley to Oliver. And like I said, we're, we're not only are we in a way harder league, we're a complete new team that, um, you know, we're having to kind of get into mesh. Good, good pick out with Zondi, but he loses it really easily. That's probably be a shot. Oh my word. Oh my word. What a disastrous start, team. Like, I was expecting to lose, but not like this. Like, we are 3 0 down before 15 minutes. Like, what? We are going to have to make some changes here by the looks of it. Campbell. Very, very poor, boys. They're just destroying us. Here we go. Here's an effort for us, maybe. Zombie. The frag. Keenan. Oliver. The frag again. Ooh, frag tries to place it. Couldn't keep it under the bar, though. At least we had an effort there, right? At least we had an effort. <laughs> Holy. These guys are absolutely all over us. Okay, it's going to be 3-0 at halftime. I don't know what to do here, guys. Am I going to... Yeah, what was that? That was that was really, really disappointing now, I have to say. Um, Mogo is having a horrible game. I think we swapped Mogo out for um, Entafi here. Is there anyone else? Mm, our right back is having a bit of a... A shocker. I mean, we could always... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could always swap him with Zondi and then bring on... Um, Wait, is Weaver not injured? Oh, Weaver's not injured. I thought he was. Interesting. Bane is still here, technically. You know what? We're going to bring Stevens on. We'll give Stevens a, Stevens a run out here. Right, we're going to do that. And then if we have to make any other changes we will like i i don't know what else to do here because i mean we could just do this and try and compact standard um take shorter kicks um counter do we maybe start counter pressing i think if we do that they just tear us apart even faster though Maybe slightly faster tempo. All right, we're just kind of messing with we're just kind of messing with sliders now, right? We're just kind of we're kind of messing with sliders and hoping something works here, because uh, the first half was not working. <laughs> all right, all I'm looking for is a better first, a better half, right? We just need to see something, show a bit of fight, and Keeley. Stevens. Oh, frag is true here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Not good enough. Simply not good enough. Come on, frag. And Keely. To Keenan. To Zondi. And Zondi buries one. That's it, Zondi. Beautiful stuff. We are going to swap this guy. I've been looking at him for a while now. We're going to bring Cicero on for Keenan, um, who's not having a great game. But saying that, he did give the pass there to Zondi. But he is on a very poor rating. 
even with the assist. So let's do that. Do we go attacking for the last little bit? Like we're already losing hard, right? Oh my word. Oh my. At least at least this is like one of the better teams, right? So we have a bit of an idea of what to expect quality wise, right? And the rest of the teams aren't going to be as good as this, right? So we, we hopefully we can pick up results against them because this this is not gone well at all. Cicero for Oliver. Itafi. Frag. So it, there's two things that I'm still looking for is uh, another centre back. I need at least one more centre back. Good play so far here. And Dubu to Sele. Back to Ndevu. To Frag. Beautiful stuff. Stevens. And Sele. Oh! Oh! That was so close. That was such good play. I'm so. I was so happy with that play there. That was really, really nice play. Which shows that we can do that against the big clubs. It's very nice. Ndevu. Beautiful ball into Sele. Frag. Frag's touches has not been good today. And um, even the shots he's had has not been, you know. Ooh, that's not good. He's picked up a bit of a knock. He's going to see the game out, though. Zondi out here again on the wing. Nice ball into Frag. And Frag slots home just as I started to talk ill of him. Just as I started to, to talk bad about him. He picks one up and taps it in the bottom corner. Every time Zondi gets the ball, it looks like we're, we're going to do something. Beautiful, beautiful. We still have a chance here. Can we get something? Can we get something? Oh, this is their highlight. Or is it? Or is it? Is this our highlight? Is this our chance to equalise here? Oh, not the best ball, but Stevens still on it. Come on, Stevens. Cicero and Keeley. Oh! <laughs> and Keeley tries one from miles out. Absolute miles. Oh, that was a lot closer. A much better half in the second half. Much better. Like, look at our XG. We played actually a l so much better in that second half. That's actually phenomenal how, how well we played. I know we still lost. But that was... That's what we're looking for. We do that every week. I think we're not going to be as bad off as I think. All right, yeah. Proud of our efforts. Um... We did make a couple of changes that we might have to maybe make permanent in the tactic um, against the bigger teams, obviously. So, yeah, that's something to keep in, keep in mind. But for the first game out, you know, you can't really complain. They're, I'm pretty sure they finished uh, second last season, right? Where, how do I see where they finished, right? Competitions general? Yeah, the graph is here. So last season, they finished second. So they're a very good team um, in this league, so... Can't complain, guys. Can't complain. All right. Let's have a quick look at the uh, thingy here. Okay. So the first round of the cup is there. So I'm actually going to come back for this Stellan Bosch game. And then by then we'll know who we're playing in the cup as well. And we might, the episode after that, we might do the cup. So I'll, I'll see I'll see what happens, right? But we'll come back for the Stellan Bosch game. Hopefully that'll be a bit closer um, of a scoreline, even though this was close. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Very tough games for us here. Kaiser Chiefs and Golden Arrows are out of bat as well. That's so tough. Anyway, guys, I know it was a longer episode today, but thanks so much for watching to the end. Um, if you're enjoying the series, as usual, like the video, throw a comment down below, and do subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.